When you think ability combos, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Maybe Grab Dragon, Nano Blade, Pulled Pork. I mean, those are certainly good combos, but today I actually want to focus on combos that I feel are underused, underappreciated, or just straight up cheesy. So let's get started. Now quickly before this video starts, I have a giveaway for a retail copy of Overwatch on the Nintendo Switch and three months of Switch Online on my Instagram. And no, I'm not baiting you or anything, it's a legitimate digital code that Blizzard sent me. So click the link in the description or pinned comment, follow me at Karku Games. go to that photo, follow the instructions. Let's get the video started with combo number one, which I like to call the Rocket Condom. Traditionally, Reinhardt is usually paired with Zarya, and you would be bubbled in while charging towards the enemy. But with the addition of Sigma to the game, his experimental barrier actually comes out at the same speed as a Reinhardt charge. This allows Rein to charge full speed ahead with that layer of protection from the front so stuff like Anna's Sleep Dart or Roadhog's Hook can't interrupt him. The trick to it is to hold down your barrier in the path of the Rein charge as soon as you see him wind up in the animation. And yes, Lucio's speed boost does work with both Rhine Charge and the Sigma Barrier, so you can definitely get in really fast. Combo number two is what I like to call the Stainless Steel. All you need for this is an Ana, an Orisa, and good cooldown management. With Orisa's Fortify now reduced to an 8 second cooldown, you can cycle through the abilities like so. Step 1, use Fortify. This gives you 5 seconds of 50% damage reduction. Once you're no longer golden, step 2, your Ana is going to nano boost you. This is going to give you 8 seconds of 50% damage reduction, the exact time it takes for Fortify to come back up. So once nano boost is over, step 3, you can use Fortify again for another 5 seconds of 50% damage reduction. All in all, this gives you 18 seconds of taking halved damage, and once you consider all the shields you put up, the Ana healing you, maybe throw in a Batiste Immortality here and there, and you're now the destructive monster Efi never imagined you'd become. One very important tip to remember though is that damage reduction in Overwatch is capped at 50%, which means if you ever nano boost an Orisa while she's fortifying, that damage reduction will not stack. Keep this in mind. Combo number 3 is what I call the Event Horizon, because this combo consists of an Orisa pull into a Lucio boop off the map, and there's almost no escaping this if you time it right. Let me explain what happens here. In Overwatch, when you get your movement displaced, you're able to counteract it a little by moving in the opposite direction. The Smash players call this DI, or Directional Influence. The thing about Orisa's pull is that you can't DI out of it. You're always pulled to the center and movement locked. That means when comboed with Lucio's boop, it will always go the maximum distance, guaranteeing an environmental kill if timed correctly. I'm dragging I'm dragging you behind Nice, nice! Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, pulling now. Oh. They sit there while oh, they're the <laughs> the You can also do this with other boops as well, but Lucio's is probably the easiest to pull off. Back in March 2019 with the Batiste patch, there was a change to knockbacks that stated heroes that are flying can now be knocked back and slowed. But they didn't mention that the opposite is true as well. They can also be sped up. And this was the birth of combo number 4, which is what I like to call the Mobile Suit Gundam. Lucio can now speed boost D.Va's booster jet, so you can use this to wind up faster and longer bombs to surprise your enemy. Mambo number 5 is going to be a little strategy that the boys over at Team Ireland Overwatch came up with, so shoutouts to them. Met them back at BlizzCon, they're good guys. Anyways, this is what they call Ice Bombing. The setup is simple. The DPS lineup needs to consist of Mei and Symmetra. Start by setting up Symmetra sentries, then teleporting them into an enemy backline. As soon as this happens, Mei needs to follow up and immediately Ice Block. May will completely block and protect the turrets and teleporter on this side by making it all untargetable for 4 seconds, wreaking havoc and drawing attention. This is a very team oriented combo, so if the rest of your team isn't following up or taking advantage of the space you're making, you might have to try a different strategy. Maybe try the next combo of this video, the Ice Quake. This combo consists of May walling off the enemy team, 
Then as soon as your run begins as Earth Shatter animation, May drops the wall, and boom, you hopefully connect to Big Slam. Now the issue with this is it requires timing because it's very easy to mess up and it's also kind of a blind shatter because you're guessing and hoping they don't have a shield up. You're also going to be banking on that element of surprise so it's not the most reliable combo out of the ones we listed so far in this video but if you pull it off I'll see you on the front page of the Overwatch subreddit buddy. The next combo is what the community calls the raid boss so you can assume there's a brig in here but you pair her up with an Ana. All you gotta do is simply nano the Brigida when she pops her rally, and trust me, this is a lot scarier than it seems. To put the numbers in perspective, Brig gets a damage boost at 52.5 damage per swing, a potential of 300 armor during her rally, her inspire consistently being activated by swinging, then you throw in a bit of shield dancing, and to top it all off, you have 50% damage reduction from nano. Look at that. This is actually one of my favorite combos to make space for my team if tanks aren't pushing forward enough or we're stuck in a choke. Enabling Brig to swing more freely also benefits the team with more consistent healing from her passive since she doesn't have to be afraid in the backline, which in turn also relieves a lot of the healing pressure from the Ana. A lot of people are currently running Ryan in Arisa and ranked with the Baptiste in this meta, and combo number 8 is going to be the Prince Zuko. Yes, I actually call it this. Here's a tip to improve your chances of having it connect. You actually want the Arisa airbending pull to be used first, then have your Rhine fire strike along the same path. As the fire strike is coming out, Batiste will be using his ultimate last to amplify it. Now if this all connects, the enemy will be grouped for the 200 damage fire strike which can one shot over half the overwatch roster. You don't have to use the abilities in that specific order, but the slower you are at executing it, the higher the chance of it missing or the enemy will counter it. In one of my recent games here, ignore the fact that I don't have Arisa first of all, but in this sequence I tried to coordinate with my Rhine to fire strike through my bat ult. The problem is, I used my ult first, way before my Rhine even began to fire strike. From the enemy Rhine's perspective, he saw my Baptiste ult early, and in his head he's like, ooh, I have a feeling they're gonna try to Zuko my ass through it, and now it gives him an easy earth shatter since he's able to anticipate and react to it. The takeaway point from this is to use Bap's ultimate last to give you the best chance of catching the enemy off guard in my opinion. Combo number 9 is what I like to call the Hoya, which is a very simple but very effective combo of nanoing Tracer. Traditionally, people like to nano Genji Blaze or Visor or Death Blossom, but I felt like including this combo because people severely underestimate how effective a nano tracer is. She's able to delete most 200 HP heroes with decent tracking, and most importantly, it changes the damage threshold for Pulse Bomb from 350 to 525 damage. This is actually one of my favorite underused ways to disassemble an enemy Bastion pirate ship composition because it now confirms the kill on him unlike before where he lives with 20 health due to his ironclad passive. Don't forget to Hoya after you kill him. Hoya. Now the last combo is another niche and team coordinated strat called Can We Run Dive Guys? while locking in Reinhardt by Team Ireland once again. How do they come up with this sh Here's Liam OW from Team Ireland pulling this off in Masters on his alternate account. If you didn't believe it could be done in Ranked, think again. Go, 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 go. I didn't go far enough. Get dash. Everyone has to, everyone has to. Nice, nice. They have no idea. To pull off the dive Ryan strat, the core three heroes are Ryan, Symmetra, and May. Totally dive heroes, am I right? This strat works best on attack, and you need the Mei to first place a wall on a cheeky area of the map that crosses over to the defender's side. As soon as it's up, set up a Symmetra Teleporter on the top of the wall. Then you're going to have the Ryan go through and head straight to the point head on, either by dropping on them or charging. You're either going to catch them completely off guard or have your Ryan feed. Either way, it's going to be worth seeing the enemy's reaction, and you know it. That's all the combos I have for you in this video. I know there's a ton of other combos I didn't mention, so let me know which one is your favorite among the ones listed here, or share your fun cool combos in the comments. Again, don't forget about the Overwatch on the Nintendo Switch giveaway on my Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.